Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Today I've got an um, installation video of installing a ROM on AT&T Galaxy Note SGH i717 and should work on Rogers, Canadian Rogers Bell and TELUS. So first thing you'll want to copy over the ROM file. So let's do that together. I'll walk you through here. Connect uh, USB cable and uh, let's go to our computer and copy the ROM file over. In this example, I'll be copying over uh, Sarum ROM, which is one of the first ROMs for the AT&T Galaxy Note. Um, I believe it's compatible with Rogers, Telus, and uh, Bell. So, copy. And also, sometimes there can be two zip files or three zip files. You can just copy them all over to the internal storage or the SD card of your um, SGH i717 there. Now click there, go to phone. And uh, you can put it anywhere. I like to put it in my download directory. Um, just keep it simple and copy and paste and that will copy the ROM file over. Now if you have more than one zip file, um, usually there's a one ROM file and then maybe there's um, like the second one is like Google Apps file, you know. Then you can um, basically copy both over, wipe in Clockwork Mountain Recovery, flash the ROM, and then flash the Google Apps and reboot and that should be all good to go and also you can install uh, kernels the same way you don't have to do wipe same thing just go in, just install from zip so this guide is actually um, how to install kernels or ROMs um, so I'll just walk you through uh, the but the first thing you have to do is basically copy the files over to the internal storage or the SD card I don't have SD card inserted on mine so I'm gonna use my um, internal storage and then let's go back to our phone next what you'll want to do is uh, get into clockwork mount recovery um, I'm assuming of course that you have a rooted uh, Galaxy Note and also clockwork mount recovery installed if you don't go to rootgalaxynote.com and I have full instructions there um, if I didn't post it yet um, it should be on my YouTube channel at the least until I do um, so you can uh, get rid of the USB cable if you want to and then uh, basically hold down the volume up and the volume down and the power button together. Uh, hold it for one, two, three, you're getting sleepy, four, five, and let go of the power button when it, uh, your phone resets. Seven, you're getting sleepier, eight, nine, you are falling asleep. And then uh, let go of the volume up and the uh, volume down, just let go of everything. And uh, basically, this is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, and make sure you make a backup of your current ROM. If you haven't, um, that's the first thing you should do before installing a new ROM. And don't don't uh, complain to me after you install a new ROM and for some reason you installed the wrong ROM and can't get back to your old original ROM. So make a backup. You just have to go to Backup and Restore and push backup. That's all you have to do. Um, after you've backed up everything, uh, we're all ready to go. Um, I'll actually show you back up and restore. If you go to restore, there it says my. It has this timestamp and stock root. That's my stock rooted ROM, so I can always restore if something goes wrong. First, we're gonna do wipe data factory reset. Hit the power button under set or the center button, and then say yes. Hit the power button, and this will basically wipe your data slash data and uh, personal settings and stuff. Um, sometimes it can mess with when you install a new ROM. Um, you can try it without doing it, but you might end up in the Bulu or get a lot of force closes. So you can do it. If that happens, then just re uh, reboot into it and then just wipe and then install the ROM again. And then next, we're going to install the actual ROM. So go to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose zip from SD card, um, hit the power button. And uh, actually, if you have an external, if you have a SD card inserted, it should be under external SD um, directory. But I don't. Um, I have it under my download directory. So I'm going to go to my download directory. Um, you see the file I copied over. I'm going to hit the power button and then say yes. Now, for installing kernels, you don't have to do the first part where I wiped. Just do this part right here and find the file and zip it and you'll have a new kernel. That's pretty much it um, and then you reboot. And if you have Google Apps, just simply do the same thing as the ROM file. Um, install from zip card and just find your uh, 
Google Apps file and then reboot. Um, that's pretty much it and this should take like what five minutes and then you can reboot and you should have a new ROM and also you can use Clockwork Mod Recovery to uh, switch between ROMs by using the backup and restore function um, that's what I like to do so I will be back when this is done and if you get any kind of errors um, sometimes when you download ROM files it can get corrupted um, not all the time but it, it does happen to me like maybe 1% 2% of the time so if that happens you get an error message try downloading the ROM zip file again and then try installing the ROM again. That's pretty much it. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so it says install from SD card is complete and all you have to do is go back and then uh, hit the power button and reboot system now, hit the power button and uh, I'll wait until it actually shows you. Once it reboots and you get the Samsung animation splash screen and then if you get a custom boot animation or whatever it is supposed to be on the ROM, you should be all good to go. Um, but if you get stuck for some reason in the Samsung logo or at the boot animation, you can get back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, volume up, volume down in the power, and then you can go to Advanced uh, Menu, and uh, you can clear Dalvi Cache, and also you can clear, you can format uh, Cache Directory in, uh, I think, what is it? I think wipe directory. Uh, what that will do is basically clear out, clear out all your cache directories and uh, when you do that it won't harm your system or, at all. You can do it you know just for fun even. Um, usually that will clear up any boot loop problems. Um, well that's the first thing you should do um, before you know deciding it's actual boot loop or just the caching. But most of the time you won't have to do it. Um, like in this example you see the boot animation there. So it should actually boot up um, to the new ROM and I should have a new ROM also um, I was having some st uh, problems with my stock ROM actually because I erased that Wi-Fi tethering manager and I think after reboot it checks for it or something and it would just give me force boot uh, force close but luckily I've made a backup and I just restored it um, but this ROM is supposed to come with all those you know removed and faster and better battery life I think I'll have a full review of this and uh, it's, I'll be back when this is done. So it did boot up. So I've got it. Uh, it says it's for 717R, but it doesn't matter. So long as I get signal, I don't have my SIM card inserted, but it, it should work. I'll have a full full ROM review of this also. Um, but that was how to install a new ROM on a AT&T Galaxy Note SGH i717. I don't even remember how I can remember all these model names. Um, also, it should work on Rogers, Telus, and Bell. And uh, if you like this video, um, don't forget to subscribe to our email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with uh, ROM of the week and tips and hacks and more. Uh, we don't share your email with anyone else. It's just for you and me. Um, and also, if you could hit that like button if you're on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. I would highly appreciate it. Um, anyway, thanks y'all. Uh, thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, don't be a hater.